And now your five minute update on the peaceful evolution happening around the globe. I'm Agent Tally TV and you're listening to Free Agents Radio News. Today is Thursday, March 15th, 2012. Top story today, videographer receives $100,000 for having a camera punched and seized by agents of the state in Hawaii. But first, a message that is important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. A message that is important for all of us. Agents of the state are threatening your freedom. Become a free agent and take it back. Freeagents.com And now for the news. This report can be found at the Free Agents campaign WeWillRecord.com where you can learn more about recording public servants. And now for the news. A shocking scene was just released from the Hawaiian Senate in 2010 and features state agents saying, get that camera and I'm going to take that camera and I'm going to put it away. One agent is a Senate Sergeant at Arms and former professional boxer. One agent of the state, I'm sorry. One agent is the Senate Sergeant at Arms and former professional boxer. B. Be- <laughs> That's awful. I'm I'm being awful. Bienvenido. I I would read it too slow. I'm just gonna. I, I don't even. I don't even need to put his name in here. <laughs> okay. I think he's famous. Um. Bienvenido that camera and I'm going to take that camera and I'm going to put it away. Professional boxer. And at arms and former professional boxer. Bienvenito Villafor. I think that's close enough. Let me try it again from one agent and I'll try it sure. with the name. One agent is the Senate Sergeant at Arms and former professional boxer Bienivo Villafor, who decided that it would be a good idea to punch the camera of Bienvenito Villafor, who decided that it would be a good idea to punch the camera of Kevin Hughes. Carlos Miller, uh, let's see, um, that it would be a good idea to punch the camera of Kevin Hughes. A judge disagreed. A judge disagreed, and it cost the state of uh, Hawaii. And it cost the state of Hawaii. Uh, Hawaii. And it cost the state of Hawaii a hundred thousand dollars. Carlos Miller reported on the. Carlos Miller reported on the incident. Quote: An activist and videographer will receive one hundred thousand dollars. An activist and videographer will receive $100,000 settlement from the state of Hawaii for a 2010 incident in which they were assaulted outside the state capitol. While it is a hefty sum, it makes me wonder if the culprits who assaulted the men were punished. You will probably wonder the same thing after watching the video. The incident began when Mitch Kale began protesting state capitol against a forced prayer, which supposedly against, is against the Constitution. Do that again. The incident, which began when Mitch Kale began protesting 
campaign inside the state capitol against a forced prayer. which is supposedly against the state constitution. Security guard has dragged him out. Security guard has dragged him out with videographer Kevin. Security guards dragged him out with videographer Kevin Hughes following closely behind. Security guards dragged him out with videographer Kevin Hughes following closely behind. As the guards piled on top of Kale outside, a group of them came after Hughes. Unquote. Here's a clip from that video. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you're in. This is uh. This is illegal. What you're doing. Fifteenth, two 2012. Top story today. Videographer. Snitch. You guys drew blood on me? These guys hit me in the face. We got an video. Where's the camera? Right here. Good. They, Good they broke it. We got an video. Okay. Next up, a government official feels shame and leaves her post. And now Agent Breitgeist reports from Free Keen in the Shire. Com. And now for the news. The incident began when Mitch Kale began protesting inside the state capitol against a forced prayer, which is as the guards piled on top of Kale. Here's a clip from that video. Excuse me, sir. You will probably wonder the same thing after watching the video. And now for the news. A shocking scene was just released from the Hawaiian Senate in 2010 and features state agents saying, Get the a shocking scene. One agent is a Senate Sergeant at Arms, and top story today, the videographer receives $100,000 for having a camera punched and seized by agents of the state in Hawaii. But first, a message that is important for all. Bienvenido, Villa saying, get that camera.
released from the Hawaiian Senate in 2010 and featured an activist and videographer will receive 100000 One agent is the Senate Sergeant at Arms and former professional boxer. A shocking scene was just released from the Hawaiian Senate in 2010 and features state agents saying, get that camera and I'm going to take that camera and I'm going to put it away. Next up, a government official feels shame and leaves his post. As the guards piled on top, agents of the state are. A shocking scene was just released from the Hawaiian Senate in 2010 and features state agents saying, Get that. One agent is a Senate sergeant at arms and who decided that it would be a good idea as the guards piled on top. As the guards piled. The incident began when Mitch Kale began protesting inside the state capitol against a forced prayer, which is supposedly against the state constitution. And now for the news. This report can be found at the Free Agents Campaign. This report. Reports from Free Keen in the Shire. Next up, a government official feels shame and leaves her post. A Next up, a government official feels shame and leaves. A government official feels shame and leaves her post. A Malaysian senator resigned from a position amid simple accusations of wrongdoing. In Kuala Lumpur, the equivalent of $83 million was loaned from the Malaysian government to a minister of community, family, and women in support of the National Feedlot Center, a beef production company owned by the family of Sharazat Abdul Jalil. After failing to meet its only of Sharazat Abdul Jalil. After failing to meet its only 40% self-sufficiency goal, an audit last year showed that condominium properties, vacations, and even a Mercedes were purchased with the funds from the loan. At this stage in biological evolution, cattle don't live in condos, don't use travel agents, nor do they drive a Mercedes. As a result of the ensuing controversy, Shahrazad's family has tried to defend themselves by pointing out that the money from the loan did not come with specific instructions for spending it. However, amid the criticisms and call for criminal charges from political opposition, Sharazad jumped the gun and her resignation will be effective April 8th when her senatorial term ends. For pictures, videos, and more on these stories, visit this episode's page at fr33agents.com slash farn2012-03-15. For pictures, videos, and more of these stories, should be on these stories. For pictures, videos, and more on these stories, 
visit this episode's page at fr33. This has been Free Agents Radio News. Subscribe to this podcast and check back tomorrow for more updates on the growing peaceful evolution happening around the globe. For Free Agents... For FR33Agents.com, this is Agent Tally TV reminding you that good people disobey bad law.